I'm picking up her grace and her calmness. I mean, I, it's repetitive, but those are the things that I wanted in my life. I want to be this beacon of calm, unconditional love for my children, you know. She would sleep for a brief 15 minutes and then wake up. It was probably normal acid reflux or something like that. But it was a form of torture at the time. I was feeling, you know, so exhausted. I just remember this feeling of, I wish someone would come pick me up in the middle of the night and rescue me from <laughs> my sleep deprivation. And yeah, I think Mary did that. Well, right now, anytime somebody's sleeping, I'm usually painting. I had saved this image of the Virgin Mary on my phone in the middle of the night one night and just started painting. I felt an overwhelming sense of peace and calm. I was working on this painting. I was wrapping it up and then I stepped back and I went, oh, shoot, her eyes are crooked, what did I do? And I stepped back and I just got chills because I remembered my eyes are slightly crooked. Artists, as they were portraying Mary throughout the centuries, they were all using women from their hometowns as models. All of those paintings were based off of real women and it was a reminder, hey wait, Mary was a real person. I wondered if she struggled with a, you know, Jesus as a toddler or something, probably not. He was probably always really good. <laughs> I would like to have more of her grace and um, calm, you know, as a mother. That's hard. It's difficult in those moments that you're really tested with your children to stay even keeled. As I'm learning more and more about the Catholic faith and teachings and about Jesus, I started letting him in, little by little. And I'd say without really knowing that I was doing it. Mary was, you know, gently turning me towards her son. I didn't know that. But when I did let Jesus in, I really, I felt this incredible, like overwhelming, burning love. Just this intense sensation. I knew without anyone telling me that it was Jesus' love for me and mine for him and for everyone in this world. 